right, Ruby, here we go. How do we code in Ruby? nr.rb, rb is a Ruby extension. You can see down here, it says Ruby. Um, how do you invoke it? Again, I like to just do, uh, you know, dot slash nr.rb. And so I'm going to tell Linux that I want to use the environment Ruby. And from there, I'm going to chmod this thing, nr.ruby. And then I'm going to uh, tell the computer, uh, just like the Ruby is very, very similar to Python. So I'm actually going to bring up Python as well. Um, and if you notice, I have like an if name equals main here. Well, in Ruby, it's if file uh, equals um, zero. And uh, that zero is a lot like bash, uh, by the way. But anyway, then I'm going to do uh, puts uh, Newton Rapson Rapson in Ruby. It has, it has like a lot of different flavors. Um, anyway, if I type in nr.rb, ooh, ooh, hmm, hmm, what did it not like? Do I need semicolons at the end of this? No. Expecting keyword end? Oh, duh. I have an if statement. This isn't entirely like Python. I have an if statement and I need an end. There we go. Newton, Rasson, Ruby. I misspelled it. Rap. Okay. All right. So what do we want to do? Uh, well, we want to define some functions. So guess what? It's exactly the same. Def f x, except there's no colon. Um, and uh, we have. I'm just gonna go straight into it. X minus one. Um, star star squared. Um, and I actually need to end stuff in Ruby. Uh, def f prime of x is. I'm just gonna return two times x minus one and end. Okay. Uh, once I put it there, um, now what do I want to do? I want to grab the input arguments. So input arguments are uh, already defined in um, Ruby. I don't need to do import sys. Um, what I want to do is um, say if the, um, there's a couple things here. Let's do puts uh, argv so you can see it. And so I'm going to run the, run the routine. Um, and so there's nothing there. Um, if I do uh, argv zero, there's nothing. If I run it with uh, 10, there's 10. If I get rid of the zero and run it, uh, there's 10. If I do uh, 10, 10, or say 10, 20, there's the function. If I do, if I just print zero and run that, there's 10. Um, so again, what I really want is I want x zero is equal to arg zero. And by the way, I want to convert it to a float. Um, the problem is, is again, I need an if statement that says, hey, if the length is um, less than one, and why is it not less than two? In Python, it was less than two. That's because remember in Python, um, the arg, the first argument of the function in Python is the name of the function. In Ruby, the first element is just the first argument. And so I just do less than one. And then just like uh, R with stop, I'm going to do abort. And I'm going to say, sorry, not enough input arguments. And then end. Um, so if it works, uh, if it's 10, it'll just run. If not, it'll say, sorry, not enough input arguments. OK, so now I have x0. So what do I want to grab now? So what, what I want to do now is I want to put it into a vector. Into a vector. And again, you got uh, square brackets. Error is the function evaluated at x0. And then now I want to do a while loop. Now here's the really, really, really awesome. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hang on. Okay, nope, false alarm. So the really, really awesome thing about uh, Ruby, in my opinion, is that you can actually do until loops. Um, so really what I want to do is I want to loop until the absolute value of the error is less than 25. And so notice that here I use the greater than symbol. And so here I'm going to use the less than symbol. I just think untils are way more intuitive. They're easier to say. I want to loop until this is true. You know, it, it just seems easier to me um, anyway so the uh, the cool thing is is that um, I can just do puts uh, x iters and it's just like um, Python minus one uh, now you understand why um, well never mind false thought um, so I'm gonna put x iters and then I'm gonna say x current is uh, x iters of minus one and then uh, x next is x current minus f of x current 
over f prime x current, um, and then x iters, and then I I want to use the append function and so to append it I just do I use the like the bit shift operator which is really like an append operator in Ruby and I do uh, x iters x next, um, and then I evaluate the function at x next, and then I put an end here, um, and so if we run it. Let's cross our fingers here. Ooh, not enough input arguments. See, that's why we have that error in there. Boom, so it works. Awesome. So how do we plot, okay? Um, can you simply do uh, plot in Ruby? Um, turns out you cannot. However, you can run sudo gem install niaplot and install it. Now, you do need if I type in Ruby dash dash version, you do need, I have Ruby 2.2.4. You need at least Ruby 2.2 in order to run Niaplot. It will not work if you don't have it. Um, Ubuntu 14.04 has Ruby like 1.9 and so Niaplot won't work. So if you want to um, install uh, Ruby 2.2 on Ubuntu 4.04, you have to run uh, these lines of code. So I just copied them over so that you can just um, see them. So you want to run these lines of code here um, to update it. And then once you have it installed, then it's really simple because then you just say, just like Python, you require niaplot, you uh, create a new plot, plot.new. And then you uh, plot it. SC is plot dot add uh, scatter. I'm going to do a scatter plot, and then I'm going to do x iters. Now, then I'm going to do plot um, dot export HTML. And so, unfortunately, I didn't do my homework very much, and so um, all I know how to do is export it to an HTML. And so I'm going to do that and so I'm going to run dot slash nrrb uh, not enough input arguments so then it's going to throw this huge error now why the reason why is because a scatter plot needs an x-axis too so unfortunately what I need to do is I need to say x-axis equals one and then every time I do x iters append x next I want to do x-axis append um, x-axis minus one plus one so I'm going to take the last element of x-axis and add one to it and then that way I can come down here to x iters and say, here's an x-axis. And then when I run that, everything looks fine. So if I open it up, here is my uh, HTML. And so uh, it looks like that's gonna open with Chrome. So if I go over to Chrome, here it is um, in Chrome. And so that's really annoying, again, to have to run everything within Chrome. So um, what I'm gonna do is, ooh, not my ref, sorry about that. What I'm gonna do is, um, type in uh, system rm star .html. so this is going to uh, remove all html files in the directory so be careful with these commands and then I'm going to after I export it to an html I'm going to do uh, system xdg dash open uh, star .html, and that's going to actually open the function and so now when I run it um, let's see, create a new window, and so there it is right there. And so there's two windows here. So if I go back to the code and I type in 20, it should pop up a new window, and here's 20, and there are my iterations. Um, if I do, whoops, if I do minus 5, um, there's Google Chrome, starts at negative 5. And so here are all my, here are all my different plots. Here was 10, 20, um, negative 5, and so that's how you... Um, do it in Ruby. Um, so here, here is the entire code in Ruby. Um, here are my, my function definitions. Here's my if file is this. Here's my actual Newton Raphson loop. Here's how to get Niaplot and Ruby 2.2. And then here's actually how to plot it. Okay, so Ruby's done, so it's time for Perl. Perl is used for web-based applications, but I don't know. I'm just I'm going off the deep end with my uh, my routines here. I just want to learn them all. 